Have you always wanted to own your own business by becoming a licensed cosmetologist? If so, now is the time to enroll at Unlimited Cosmetology School, LLC, located at 102 Broad Street in Hattiesburg. That's right, learn how to become a professional cosmetologist by acquiring 1,500 clock hours in 12 or 16 months. Now is the time for open enrollment. If you're interested, contact Lisa Daniels by calling 601-336-7256 or 601-408-2650. Willie Sims CPA is a full-service firm offering small business accounting, bookkeeping, payroll, tax preparation, and more. Our dependable and experienced staff has developed a reputation for professional excellence. Service at its best, service you can depend on. My name is Sandra Hancock with Sandra Hancock Ministries, and I want to invite all of you to get your weekend off to a great start have your coffee with us and get supercharged by the power of God as you watch our show, Voice of Hope, every Saturday morning right here on WHLT at 6.30 a.m. Now, for more information, visit our website, sandrahancock.org, and remember, your hope is in Jesus. This is an exciting day for me today because I have a guest on that I I got to know about three years ago. He is such an inspiration to me. And before I introduce you to him today, I want to say one thing. It's never too late to pursue your dream because that's exactly what my guest is doing. So at this time, I'm going to introduce to some of you, present to the rest of you, my special guest today, none other than Mr. Harold Wilburn. Now, he is from Hattiesburg originally from the Palmer's Crossing community, but he now resides in Moreno Valley, California. Did I get it right, Mr. You got Wilbur? it right. And we're so happy you came to be with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yes. Now, before we get started, and I tell you anything else, I want you to call your friends, your family, everybody you know, and say, <laughs> turn on the show, because Mr. Wilburn is on today. Now, Mr. Wilburn, you are from Hattiesburg, but you got started with what you were doing when you were a little boy. Is that right? That's true. That's yeah. right. When you were a little boy, God gifted you with some, something. What was that gifting? Music. Music. That's mm-hmm. right. Tell us about how your mom would be in the kitchen. She'd be singing gospel songs and tell us what happened during that time. As boys would do, like we used to play a game, but, uh, shoot marbles, uh, playing baseball or something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I always, he's, he's home and check on mama, you know, mm-hmm. see how she doing. And she begging and humming those, her regular songs, mm-hmm. the hymn that she always Just does. humming them, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. she don't, not the words, just humming. Mm-hmm. But it was good, mm-hmm. sounds good. And I learned from that. I learned, uh, fell in love with music at an early age. And, uh, so I, uh, as I grew older in life, uh, strange things began to happen. Mm-hmm. Tell us about those strange things. Uh, I could hear things, sounds, you know. In your ears? In my, well, somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it comes from. You heard from. them, though. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I learned it was music. Wow. And uh, I really didn't think I had it all up here, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, but I would tell my mother about it, and she was the only one that, well, she was the only fan that had it, you know, at that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and all nine of us in the house together, there, you know, and they didn't understand really mm-hmm. what was going on, but she did. Mm-hmm. And my oldest brother, named Jim, he uh, he uh, uh, he wanted to know where did it come from, and. She, she said, well, God gave it to him, you know. Wow. And, uh, but I'm trying to make a long story short if I can. That's okay. Take your time. Uh, no matter what I was doing, I always had to steal away. And I had a certain place back in the old cornfield. And uh, that's where I would go, where it won't be seen or heard. And, uh, and that's where I can, whatever's coming, I can... You know, capitalize. Would you sing it? Oh, what I sing it because the words be that too. So God yeah. would give you the words, mm-hmm. and you would put those words into music and sing those words. Right, because I, the melody is the main thing about a song. 
that type of melody. And that was easy for me to sing the words, you know. And uh, well, I sang the song, but you want to say it that way. But uh, I had a wonderful life. Uh, Did your mama ever ask you to sing for her? Oh, yes, yes. Would she get excited when you would sing? She really would. The one song she really, really loved, was, that was uh, Mother Bow. Mother Bow and mm -hmm. Pray For Me. Pray For Me. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. I want you to sing just a little bit of that Mother Bowed and Pray For Me. You can sing a cappella. You don't have to have any music. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I sing okay, let's, let's just thing. hear a little bit of that. I remember when I was a child Sitting on, on Mother knee. Oh, she told me all about King Jesus that I may gain the victory. Oh, Mother taught me. She taught me from the Bible. So someday the Savior face I'll see. Mother bowed. Oh, Mother bowed, and she prayed for me. Wow, <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. Well, Brings back you know. so many old memories of my mother and my grandmother. Right, right. And it's right. a lot of meat in that song, isn't it? Oh, it is. Because mothers do bow and pray for well, their sure children. Is, yeah. Children wow, wow. Now, for the children. they do. They mm -hmm. love their children and they pray for their children. Right. Let's go back to talking about your childhood now. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were young and you started singing and you'd go out in the back cornfields and God yeah. would give you the songs, right. did you ever go to church and sing those songs? Yes, I did. What uh, church did you go to? Priest Creek Missionary Baptist Church. The, the Priest Creek we know about today? Yes, ma'am. You went there when you were a kid. Well, I, 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 not so much of a kid. I, I think I was, uh, well, I had left home at an early age. Uh -huh. And uh, when I came back, I was in my late 20s. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I joined the church. And, uh, and would you, you would sing? I was singing for right. my song. But. Now, for the people that know you, Mr. Wilburn, that live in Hattiesburg, mm -hmm. where did you used to work? Wow. Did you work down on... Dab, not Dab Street, was Mobile it Street. Mobile Street? I was yes, Bob. sir. I was a Bob on you Mobile Street. You were a Bob on Mobile Street. Right. I started with, at the uh, Mobile Street Barbershop. That's where I started, maybe made 20 some years there. Mm -hmm. And I uh, moved up to Union Barbershop. That's where the, the two brothers, Mr. Weston, Paul Weston, mm -hmm. and uh, Mm -hmm. Silas, right? Right, right. But anyway. We're going to talk a little bit more, and then we're going to let the audience listen to a song that you recorded earlier. But mm -hmm. before we do that, Mr. Mm -hmm. Wilburn, mm -hmm. I heard from a little bird this morning that you had a certain number of daughters and a certain number of sons. So how many mm -hmm. daughters do you have? Five daughters. Five daughters and three sons. Three sons. And she said you were a wonderful father. Well, she said they'd be excited when you walk in the house. How about that? Where did you always bring them to eat? My daddy used to bring me something <laughs> to eat every time I would come home. He would come home, rather. He'd have something in his pocket to give me. What is mm -hmm. some of the things? What is one of the things? I think uh, the most thing they liked was fish. 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 Yeah, fish. Was it, was, it, and, was it your grandson over there shaking his head? He said something else. What else could it have been? Well, I, uh, I don't know. You uh, don't know what he liked, but you yeah, know they liked fish. Right, they liked fish. I yes. hear you. I hear you. Chicken, barnyard pimp. They yeah. over there doing this. Right. They said they like barnyard <laughs> pimp. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Um, Mr. Whipple, what I'd like to do now is to kind of switch around a little bit mm -hmm. and let the audience listen to a song that you sang this morning. We're going to talk again, then we're going to come back and do another song. Okay. Will that work for you? It'll be fine. Don't you go away because you have something in store today. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Precious Lord Take My
I know you enjoyed that music that he just sang, Precious Lord. That's one of my favorite songs, but nobody can sing it like he can sing it. Oh, I enjoyed Lord. that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Now, let's go back to talking about you. So now mm -hmm. you live in Moreno Valley, California. Right. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want to do while you're still here on this earth and you are vibrant and you are doing well? What is it what you want to do with your music? You know, um, being a songwriter of uh, uh, many songs, and I, I mean many, uh, I would like to record most of my songs and uh, uh, because I have children and I have grandchildren. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, something happened to me, mm -hmm. uh, although I do have a few recordings, but they have not been published. And uh, I would like to record as many as I can. Yes, sir. And uh, because I, they are the one I'm thinking about. That's right. You know, I, I'm I'm pretty well fixed for myself. That's you right. Know, uh, in my age. You want to leave a legacy and an inheritance to your children and grandchildren. Right. That's right. what the word says. That's right. That's right. A wise man leaves an inheritance for his children. Absolutely. And his children's children. Absolutely. You're a wise man, Mr. Wilbur. Well, I thank you, but uh, yes, sir. I'll, I'll accept that. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. And you know, you just said you want to 
you want to make a recording, you want to publish these songs, and we're going to try to make that happen for you. Well, I, sure I believe it. God let us cross paths so we can be a blessing to each other. Right. And if I help you make your dreams come true, then God's going to help me make mine come true. Absolutely. So I'm going to I'm say it in front of the audience today. I'm going to mm -hmm. work toward trying to help you make this dream come, become a reality. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Um... What kind of, what are some of the kinds of music that you have come up with other than uh, gospel? Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, matter of fact, I'm on, I'm on YouTube, too. And, uh, you, and also, uh, I'm online. You can get mm -hmm. www.cdbaby.com, mm -hmm. Harold C Wilburn. Okay, www.c. No, no. Baby.com. No, no. www.cdbaby.com. Okay. Will, Harold Wilborn. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. we're going to put that, we're going to try to put that on the screen so people can pull you up. Yeah. And by the way, the show that we're doing today, mm -hmm. after we air this show, after it's been aired, mm -hmm. then we're going to put you on YouTube so people can see you all over the world. Okay. Appreciate we're going to promote that thing. Wow. That's, that's right. I'm going to put you on my Facebook a, page. A lifelong, lifelong dream. All right. It's finally <laughs> coming into reality, isn't it? That's right. That's, that's right. right. Now, I hate to say this because we're having a good time talking, but we got to take another break. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to finish talking about what we're talking about. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. We're coming back. Hannah is available for ministry and speaking engagements for conferences, revivals, and other church events. Email hannahopkins at aol.com or call 601-296-7693. You can also become a partner or sponsor of the show. Make your donation by logging on to hannahopkins at aol.com or sending your donation to P.O. Box 17405, Hattiesburg, Mississippi 39404. My guest today, in case you are just joining us, is none other than Mr. Harold Wilborn, and he is, he was born here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, down in the Palmer's Crossing area, but he now resides in Moreno Valley, California, and I'm just having a good time talking with him today. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just put me in the mind of my daddy. Really? Yes, sir, that? you do. Absolutely. Yeah, he was a soft-spoken gentleman who loved his children, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, he couldn't sing. Yeah, that right. Yes, sir, he couldn't <laughs> sing. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, sir. But let's continue talking, Mr. Wilburn. Mm -hmm. Now, you said that you started this when you were a young boy, and mm -hmm. when you were out shooting marbles and the others were playing, what was on your mind? You know, um, I tried to ignore it, really, but that music was always there. And I knew it was time for me to ease off somewhere where I wouldn't be seen or heard. It doesn't matter whether it's in the outdoor toilet. Wherever. <laughs> Wherever. Nobody come there like they had to. That's right. <laughs> you were pretty safe oh, there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But mm -hmm. anyway, I, I, uh, I had quite an experience when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, a song, two or three songs a week was nothing. Because just by the time I think I'm finished with one. Another one would pop up. Another one pops up. And you know what? Although the Lord is amazing, you know. He's amazing. But the amazing thing is about these songs, uh, uh, I never had to worry about what the words or anything like that. They just came to. They just came right along with the, with the melody. You could hear that melody. I hear it. I hear it. And even in the barber shop, when I was cutting, serving a customer in the shop, you know those uh, when they wear those those uh, afros, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, all that. Hey, I get those shears and start shaping it up. And you start singing with those the songs. Pick. Oh, I can hear it. It's coming. I said, "Well, here come another one." <laughs> wow. I kept it. I kind of keep it on the cover for a while, but uh, uh, as you get older, you 
you begin to not be ashamed, you know. Right. Well, I really thought I was kind of cookie. Uh -huh. <laughs> People wouldn't have understood <laughs> if you had told them, would no, they? No, you know who you make me think about, and I interviewed them before they passed away, was Andre Crouch. Yeah, God right. gave him so many, many songs. I, I forget how many hundreds of songs mm -hmm. he said God gave mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. He would just give him the songs out of the clear blue. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and he was recognized as one of the most renowned gospel singers around. True. Yeah. So yeah. I thank God that you are still here and you can do what God has gifted you to do. Well, I tell you what, I, uh, I'm, I'm thankful. To, to, uh, I know it's, it's he, he's the reason why I'm doing this. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because, gifts, yeah. gifts and callings come from God, don't yeah, they? It does. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. But, and uh, singing is, is, is a good therapy, isn't it? To me it is. Yeah. I don't know about other people. I'm sure it works the same way anybody. Right. But singing is something, a song is something really beautiful. Yes, sir. And uh, I don't know how it would be if I didn't have a song. Yeah, to that's sing. who you are. It's, uh, hey, uh, I just love music. Wow. Uh, any kind, you know, as long as it's mm -hmm. got a uh, beat to it mm -hmm. and saying something. That's right. I don't mean just a lot of junk. Right, you know. right. But uh, you don't like all of this hip hop and all of this well, rap. Well, it's, it's all right for them. But but not for you. Not for me. No. Yes, sir. I don't I don't uh, down anybody. You yes, know? sir. Cause I could just feel just like I do about their music. That's you right. Know? It make you feel good. Yeah, what James you know. Brown used to say. Feel good. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I feel good. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what. I thank God for you because you are a good example for other people. What would you say to people who has, the person who has a dream or a vision but they hadn't pursued it, what would you say to that person? I would say to you, anyone that has a vision, a dream, pursue it. Don't ever give up because as long as you are living, and like you say, I'm 84 years of age, hey, I still feel it. I still hear it, you know. And so, hey, don't don't stop. Please put God first, though, and uh, you, you'll come out all right. In fact, on that note, I want you and I to catch hands, and we're going to pray for people who are not saved today. Okay. It's good to sing. It's good to preach. It's good to teach. It's good to have all those gifts. Right. But the main thing we want people to have today is Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Absolutely. And this is a good time for people to accept Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. You see, you've, you, you have longevity. God is letting you live a long time. Oh, yes. And so if they want to have longevity, they need to have Jesus Christ in their life. Absolutely. So let's join hands today. And yeah. Father God, I just thank you for Mr. Wilburn, God. And I ask yes, you, God, yes. if there is anybody who's watching this program today who's not saved, you, that you would come into their life, God, and that they would surrender, Please. that they would say, God, what must I do to be saved? Mm -hmm. And Lord, we just thank you that you are going to do some awesome things for people today mm -hmm. in their mind, their body, their soul, and their spirit. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for Mr. Wilburn being a testament to other people that if you walk up right before the Lord and be obedient that you will have a long life. Yes, and God, we thank you. Now, Lord, we just ask you to let those that are not saved dial the number that's on the screen so we can pray with them personally and they can accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, if you're not saved, call the number on the screen mm -hmm. because we want to get you saved. We're going to close out today with a song mm -hmm. by Mr. Wilborn, Wilborn and his family and friends. That's the name of his group. Yes. And until this time <laughs> next week, I am Hannah Hopkins with Lifting You Higher TV Manager saying, You be blessed. Open time. I'm so discouraged Open time I'm sad and loose Seems like the world Has turned against me Sometimes I don't know What to do Open time I've been mistreated Seem like all my 
friends are gone, yes. If it wasn't for you, Jesus, I couldn't carry on. I'm trying to find to carry on. someone that faithful. Often times I've been mistreated. Seems like the world has turned against me. Lord, I don't know what to do. Whoa, and Lord, oh Jesus, and Lord, please see me through. If it was on for you, Jesus. I couldn't carry on. Oh, Lord, help me to carry on. Got my footstep. Help me to carry on. Carry on. Hannah is available for ministry and speaking engagements for conferences, revivals, and other church events. Email Hannah Hopkins at AOL.com or call 601 296 7693.